2013, I believe, was my first contract for non-GMO beans. We had went through 2000 to then really good prices and everything was going real good and then the prices started backing off a little bit on the basic commodities and a premium gets us back to where we were before. So we embarked on that with small steps in the beginning and now have grown to 100% non-GMO beans. It's a lot of work but that premium helps to sustain our farming operation. You have to spray early and often. We have to clean everything thoroughly. The combine has to be cleaned out. The semis have to be cleaned out. Grain carts, bins have to be cleaned out. You want to be perfect depth when you plant them. You want to try and keep them in the moisture. A little more work, but in the end, it's a lot better. I think to have a good team on growing a non-GMO, having a good retailer, a good seed dealer, have a good banker, somebody that sees the value in that, you know, running your business like a business. You want your cash flow to look great. And so a banker, I think, would see value in that and be there to partner with you to obtain that value. The AMP program is a great resource for farmers. It can help in lots of ways in your family farm. If you have questions about marketing, technology, and things like that, it's a good program to go to to help you be a successful family farm. So marketing to me is very important on a farm because we put a crop in to take a crop out to sell it to be able to put a crop it back in. And so being able to know where you want to pull the trigger at, being able to hold on to that decision, not getting too many emotions tied into it, I feel like is very important in making sure that you have that value coming back in and that revenue when you need it. So really having that business plan lined out is, is important of you know cash flow, all those things that you are balancing. The non-GMO market, I believe, is growing by leaps and bounds. For us, having non-GMO beans is hopefully going to be setting up the boys good for the future. I'm excited for the future because I think the demand for non-GMO is going to still be there and that's how we're going to value add to our farm for the future. I think the security for future generations is you know, extremely important. We want to set our future children up for the same success that we want to share. What's worked for us to make our family farm operation good is the family. That's what it comes down to me, is just having them by our sides, enjoying each other's company, just making it all work. <laughs>